faces, everyone.
It's always so exciting! we live here with Bonnie. I can look at my drawings to help me remember everything that's happened. Oh, this is a great picture. It's when Woody told Sarge and the army men to find Andy's cell phone. Andy was about to leave for college and he hadn't played with us for years. If the army men got his cell phone, we could call it and get his attention. Let's get to the air vent.
Our objective is to aim for the door, men. Telephone located. Prepare for jump. Get the parachute ready, men. the toy box and left the room. A little later, Andy's mom told him to sort through everything in his room before he left for college. He decided to take Woody with him and put the rest of us in a garbage bag. We didn't know, but Andy was going to bring the garbage bag we were in up to the attic. Before he could, his mom put us out on the curb by mistake. Thanks to my pointy tail, we got out of the garbage bag, ran into the garage, and hid. Then Buzz saw a box going to Sunnyside Daycare and decided to find us all so we could hide in the box and get donated. I wonder where they could be hiding. Huh? 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 
most important thing is, we stay together.
were about to go to Sunnyside, where there'd be lots of children eager to play with us. Since he was going to college with Andy, Woody was still up in the bedroom while we were down in the garage. When Woody saw what a big mistake Andy's mom made, he rushed down to tell us. Think, Woody, think. I just need to get out of this room so I can find my friends. Ugh. Ah! Andy's mom's right outside. If I just turn on the TV, she'll have to open the door.
tried to tell us that Andy didn't mean to throw us away, but there wasn't time. Andy's mom closed the trunk and drove to Sunnyside. When we got there, a bear named Lotso welcomed us and he showed us around. He smelled like strawberries. Woody tried to convince everyone to go back to Andy. But we wanted to stay at Sunnyside and get played with again. No one could believe it, but Woody decided to leave without us. This is a picture of our first playtime at Sunnyside. Lotso put us in the caterpillar room. It didn't go as well as we'd hoped. in the caterpillar room were too young. They didn't know how to play with us. Buzz had to distract them before we really got hurt. I need to get to that mobile quickly. I'm sure I can reach the mobile if I go this way. Set. Can't be spotted by those children. I've got to be careful. Huh? I'll take that. Huh? 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 Perhaps I can 
use this. Perfect. If I go this way, I can get the cassette without anybody seeing it. Proceed with caution. Children in the butterfly room. 
Jesse and I helped Buzz get out of the caterpillar room so he could ask Lotso to transfer us to the butterfly room. This drawing shows what happened to Woody while we were in the caterpillar room. Woody was trying to leave Sunnyside and go back to Andy. Luckily, he spotted an open window. I've got to keep a low profile. Ha! 
Oh, yeah! Ugh. about moving us to the butterfly room. Something about Lotso seemed suspicious. So Buzz decided to find out what was going on. And since Lotso smelled like strawberries, he just followed the fruity scent. Lucky for me, Lotso smells like strawberries. I should be able to follow his scent. Stay clear of the hot steam coming out of those pipes. Oh! 
vending machine if I don't avoid the lights from that truck. Lots of strawberry scent led Buzz to the inside of a vending machine. exactly like Buzz had hoped in the vending machine. They captured him and took him to the library. He soon figured out that Lotso put us with the little kids on purpose. And when Buzz wouldn't cooperate, Lotso had him switch to demo mode. It was horrible. Buzz thought he was a real space ranger again and didn't know we were his friends. Buzz started working for Lotso and he even locked us up for being minions of the evil Emperor Zerg! When he didn't know we were in trouble at Sunnyside, he was looking for a way to get back to Andy's from Bonnie's house. Bonnie's toys told Woody where the computer was so he could look at a map. First, he had to find a way out of the bedroom. So he decided to look for some batteries and turn on the radio. I'll have to find some batteries for the radio. Somebody point the water hole! Okay, now I go straight ahead.
I wonder what this thing does. If I follow Trixie's instructions to get to the computer, I need to sneak by here without being spotted. Lotso was probably keeping us prisoner, and that the only way to save us was to disable the security cameras. So Woody decided to go back to Sunnyside. There's Woody coming back to Sunnyside to rescue us. Woody had hidden in Bonnie's backpack. He quickly came up with an escape plan. He'd climb into the ceiling and make his way to the control room, where the controls were for the security cameras. Slinky went with Woody to help.
pass there if I don't stop that blade. Myself be seen. Watch out for the cameras. that 
I'm sure this could be useful. No. Somebody point the no. water hole. Yes. No. Woody made it to the control. When he got to the control room, Woody turned off the security cameras. Jesse saw the camera go off and escape from her prison cell. After she escaped from her prison cell, the next part of the plan was for Jesse to let us out of ours. Jessie made sure Buzz wouldn't be a problem. Then she went to find the keys to open each of our cells. Gotcha! Uh. Eternally uh, grateful. Uh, There's another. That leaves four more. Uh,
in a better place. Uh. One more! Uh. Three friends left to go! You have saved my life. Once we were all free, we tried to fix bugs. He didn't think we were his enemies anymore, and he was a much better dancer. Then we snuck across the yard to escape through the garbage chute. We didn't mean to end up in a dumpster that got emptied into a garbage truck and taken to the city dump, but we did. The good thing about all that garbage was that Buzz got hit in the head with a television set and remembered he was our friend. at the dump when most of us ended up on the conveyor belt heading directly for the trash shredder. I thought we were going to be shredded for sure. But thanks to Slinky, we figured out that the belt on the ceiling was a magnet. So Buzz started looking for pieces of metal so we could all be saved. There have to be pieces of metal in here somewhere. Thanks, Buzz.
I need your help! Thanks for the save, boss! Another part of the dump. This picture shows the aliens and the claw. is the machine the aliens went to find when we first got to the dump. So when we were headed to the incinerator, they were our last hope.
us all from a fiery destruction. up with us on the way back to Andy's. We were all in the garbage truck on our way home, but Buzz fell out and had to jump from car to car to keep up with us.
to college, Andy brought us here. Andy was sad to say goodbye, but he knew Bonnie would take very good care of us. Andy was right! Places, everybody! Bonnie's back from daycare! Oh, boy! Playtime! 